Mama. It's time for another tier list brought to you by your good old man, the manga dude, here on YouTube. So, today we're going to be doing Hunter Hunter character tier list. Um, I've read almost all of Hunter Hunter. I think I'm only four volumes away from the current arc or whatever. Um, so I know most of the characters on here. Um, I actually <laughs> had started this list a little bit before. Uh, unfortunately, I was recording on the wrong mic, so now I have to redo it all. But now you get to hear my voice in much better quality and not as far away from the um, <laughs> the sound. So I'm going to switch this up. I'm going to add in what I had before, which is don't remember. This is a section of <laughs> for characters that I just straight up have no opinion on slash I actually just don't remember them in the series so um, doing that for ahead of time anyways let's get started so first it looks like it's Kalua's sister um, I actually do like her I think she's an interesting character I feel like I still need more time with her and Kalua to be able to care more but in terms of like the backstory and what she can do her ability is really interesting and um, yeah I actually like her a lot so I'll put her in B uh, Biscuit uh, probably one of my favorite characters, so I'll stick her in A. Uh, I think she's a great mentor character for both Gon and Kalua. Uh, I like her ability a lot. I like how she keeps it a secret from everybody. Um, and I think her role in two of the arcs is uh, important. So, And then this is our boy Krolo. Um, yeah, I like. I think Krolo is cool. And I think like him being the leader of a villain group that is a recurring villain group that isn't like stuck to one arc is pretty interesting um but he doesn't he hasn't done a lot <laughs> since the the main arc um so i'm curious as to what he's gonna do in whichever arc um hopefully he does something in the newest arc um but uh, like i said i'm not that far into the newest one so i can't say whether or not but cool guy um he's a cool guy don't remember much about him but uh, i remember his ability was pretty interesting um, Ging is a, is a dick. Um, he's probably one of my least favorite characters, actually. Not gonna lie. Um, I know he's kind of written that way. Like, oh, he really only cares about himself and exploring the world. Um, but yeah, I really don't like characters that, like, purposely leave their son. Like, there are ones, like, you know, characters like Minato from Naruto who, uh, didn't really have a choice <laughs> in the matter. Um, like, because they're, they're dead. But, yeah, Ging isn't dead. And he just doesn't talk to Gon at all, like until much later. But yeah, I, I, just, I can't, I can't stand him. <laughs> can't stand him at all. Um, Gon. So I was talking to friends actually a couple of days ago about Gon himself and why I think actually Gon's actually a really good character because I used to think that he wasn't. I used to, I used to think that he was like un, unbearable. And he kind of is in the beginning. He's just like your typical shonen protagonist uh, that's like happy-go-lucky and is like, yeah, don't worry, everything will go just fine. But I think like in the Chimera Ant arc is when you have his like full character change and full character moment um, where he's able to experience true sadness and true anger, um, which I respect and I actually really like about his character. So I'm going to stick him in A. Um, and then I... I... Who is this? If you know who this is, please leave it in the comments because I, I really don't remember. <laughs> um, uh, Hisoka. Yeah, he, he's. Yeah, Hisoka's weird. Uh, I, I don't know how to feel about him. Like he's just kind of, he kind of, he's a cool villain, but he's also hella creepy and like not a good way, <laughs> especially towards kids. So like I, I don't know. You can like who you like, I guess, but uh, yeah. Don't, don't, don't touch, don't do that. Actually, don't, you know what? Let me, let me rephrase that. You can like them if they're legal age. <laughs> uh, if you're an adult. You hear me? <laughs> you hear me? Anyways, Kalgo, King. He's my favorite character from, or one of my favorite characters from Kamir Ant. Um, I actually like him a lot. Uh, I think he has a pretty tragic backstory, and I think his importance to Kamir Ant and, like, the arc itself is really cool. Um, and I like him a lot. I don't know. He's just like a, a true, true broski, true broski. Um, Alumi, I like him quite a bit actually. I think he's like that perfect mix of cool, creepy, 
and like manipulative and like he's a really good villain um because like his impact on the characters is different from other villains like he he his goal is completely different than most of the other villains in like the series which i think is uh, what makes him such an interesting character um the old guy i'm sorry i don't remember his name uh, i like him i think he's cool i think he has really cool abilities i like his fight in the chimera ant arc so i'm gonna stick him here kite i like kite a lot actually i think kite is such a cool character really like his abilities um I think it's what makes it so interesting is that it's like almost completely random to us the viewer but to him obviously it's like there is a certain level of understanding which is what makes it fun uh so he's cool i like him a lot um especially in the chimera ant arc and in like the first couple like first couple chapters so yeah cool guy um this is one of kalua's sisters and i just yeah i don't remember so she's gonna go here She's not as bad as Ging, but, you know, I don't... Uh, she does something, right? <laughs> I don't remember. Um, I don't know who this guy is either, so I'm just sticking there. Kalua King! He's my favorite character in Hunter x Hunter, if you couldn't tell. Um, I think he has... He's probably one of the best written characters in Hunter x Hunter. I think his abilities are really cool. I think he has a really fun and interesting connection with all of the main characters in the series. Um, I think his... Uh, the influence that is on or his family how he he gets influenced by them in the beginning and how he's like really affected by that but how he begins to change and grow up just like a kid would i think is really cool um yeah i just he's amazing <laughs> absolutely amazing not not much not much bad to say about him um this is knuckle right right i think that's his name i like knuckle a lot actually i think he's cool he is very one noted in my opinion like he's just very much like a yeah i'm a big muscly man but that's like kind of one of my biases in, <laughs> in certain series uh, i kind of like my my stupid blockheads um so i'm gonna put him here uh he's well, he, this guy's one of the phantom troop right or they're one of the phantom troop yeah i don't really remember them very much. Eh, it's okay um oh this is the girl from chimera ant i don't uh, like I think she's interesting, um, but I rank her above any of these people. At least I remember her. I feel like I feel like the S through B are gonna be the characters that like A I remember and B I kind of enjoy slash like. Um, so like, and then C and below are like the characters I vaguely remember or just dislike. And then obviously of course just straight up don't remember them. Like, see here, like, I, I remember they exist. I do not remember these two characters. So, I think that's the difference. Um, Colt. I think Colt's cool. Uh, I like Colt a lot, actually. Uh, probably put him here. Uh, I think he's really fun. I think he's just, like, a really sad character. Or, not sad, but, like, a tragic character in a way that, like, not a lot of the other Chimera Ant characters hit for me. So, I don't know. I just like him a lot. I know my friends don't really care for him, but... <laughs> Oh well. Um, I believe that's Kurapika, right? It looks like Kurapika. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I wish I liked Kurapika more. And I did at first, but he's been like so irrelevant for so many chapters that, uh, yeah, it's like, why do I care? <laughs> I don't know. Like, uh, I bet you, watch, I bet you people are gonna be like, well, you just gotta keep reading, he shows up in the next one. And I'm like, yeah, but like, also, you gotta think about the huge gap where he just disappears. Uh, which is not a problem, but uh, he's, it's, it's the same problem as the characters that's about to show up, actually, um, on this list. But, yeah, I don't know, I like Kalua, but I really wish he had more screen time. And then, like I said, same thing with Leorio. However, I actually like Leorio more than Kurapika. I don't know, I like that he wants to be a doctor. I think it's cool that, like, he stands up, excuse me, he stands over his friends. I think it's really weird that he looks like an adult, even though he's supposed to be, like, the same age as, like some of the teenagers very confusing um but i like him a lot i don't know i like his drive and his ambition um uh, and i'm excited to see more of him so yeah uh this is the sewing girl right yeah she's cool <laughs> yeah that's it she's she's cool um this guy his name is Merrill. Mer oh crap it's like chameleon but like Meryl leone or something like that um i like him i don't like him as much as uh as Kurpika, but he's cool um i think he's fun 
he's neato. He does his job. Um, she's one of the test people, right? Yeah, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> um, oh, my boy, Mr. Chimera Ant-Man. I'm not going to say what his name is in case you haven't gotten that far, but yeah, he's a very, 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 very interesting character. I like his um, changing... I don't know how to explain it. But, like, I like how his character develops throughout the series. Like, especially for a villain. It's very odd, but I kind of like it a lot. And I don't remember her. This guy is... Um, he's one of the three dudes. I don't remember his actual name, though. Um, he's my least favorite out of them. Not gonna lie. I think he plays the least amount of... He's, the, he's like, the least amount in, like, the, the three of them. In terms of, like importance slash impact on the story and on the characters so he going there the fairy p2 of course like king shit <laughs> um absolutely evil um and i just i don't know i think he has a very ah it's like weird because like i like him a lot and i think i don't think obviously i don't think his like morals or ways are correct but i do think that like he impacts the story in such a way that, like, it affects Gon as a character, which I appreciate. Because I'm like, finally, Gon becomes a character now. Yeehaw. Uh, but that's because of Nef3P2. Uh, I'm not going to say why. So. <sighs> Boy. Okay, I think I'm going to get eaten out or attacked for this. Because I think. I think that's Kalua's, like, mother figure. But I don't remember. So. Don't hate me. <laughs> uh, this is the gun lady, right? She's cool. I like her more than these guys. I'll put her there. Um, oh, crap. What's her name? She's like the, the witch lady, right? The one that can, like, see the future and stuff. Palm, that's her name. Uh, yeah, I like her. I think I'll stick her here. I mean, I, I think her relationship with Gone is weird, but... Uh, uh, okay, maybe uh, <laughs> I'll put it there. Um, okay, he's a, he's he's terrible. I hate him. Uh, I don't know if I hate him more than Ging. Hmm. 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 I think I hate him more than Ging. Um, yeah, just a just a jerk, a complete jerk. But I don't know he's written like that, so that's great. But in terms of my list, in terms of how I like him as a character, I don't like him. He's he's annoying. He's like just. He's chaotic evil and just a whole lot of chaos. I, I just, oh man, he's annoying. Um, it's another one of Phantom Troop guys. He's okay. Uh, this is one of the test proctors. He was all right. Yeah. Oh, this is the singing lady. She's cool. Put her here. Um, what the heck? Who's that? <laughs> what? I don't know who this is. <laughs> oh, this guy, Butterfly Man. Uh, I think he's cool. Uh, he's my second favorite, of course, because I already said my my favorite and my least favorite. So obviously he's got to go somewhere. Um, I think he's like just straight up just a horrible person. But I like his ability a lot, and I like that his like impact on the story, in terms of Chimera Ant, is um, great. I don't know. I like him a lot. <laughs> Uh, I like her character design a lot, so that helps her a ton. I like Blinky, I think is the name of her, um, vacuum thing. I think her ability is peculiar, but I kind of love it. <laughs> um, hopefully she plays a bigger role in what she's already done, but yeah, I like her a lot. Um, this is, Ga this is Kalua's dad, right? Yeah, he's okay. I don't have any opinions. This guy's whatever. Mediocrity incarnate. Like, only does one thing. And it's, like, not even interesting. Um, who the heck? Wolfman. Who's this? I thought that was the cheetah guy, but it's not. So I don't know who that is. Um, is this a teacher from the tower? Hey, I think that's him. Um... Yeah, he's alright. He exists. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Grandpa. I actually like him a lot. Because um, I, I think it's cool that he like wants Kalua to do whatever. But he also has like that understanding. Excuse me. I just like totally burped in the mic. <laughs> um, 
I think he has like a, a really good motive, or not a really good motivation, but like an, a, a a motivation to push Kalua to do what he wants, but also like understand his back. And I'm like, oh, that's a interesting way to look at things because like obviously Kalua and his family are trained to be assassins, and like he trained his son or not his son, his grandson to be an assassin. Um, so I think his impact is uh, very important. And, it, and of course, like it makes sense too. That, like the whole family, the whole family is screwed up because the grandpa is also just like absolutely insane. Um, but I also love his ability, like and his uh, son's ability. And I like the fights that he's in throughout the series. So I don't know I like him a lot. And this kid for the last character <laughs> for this list, this kid sucks. Absolutely sucks. Completely useless. Completely pointless. After like the. The first arc? No, he's in the second arc. Um, yeah, can't stand him. <laughs> he's like if you took a shonen character and just like did absolutely nothing with him, um, then yeah, that's what you'd get. Um, yeah, so that's my list for Hunter Hunter. I only have two characters in the S tier. Most people will probably be like, "Why the hell did you put a cargo up there?" Well, you know what? Maybe you should watch the video and you'll see why. Ding. <laughs> Anyways, if you disagree with my list, because you most likely will. Uh, leave a comment below naming who you'd put in your S tier or uh, who you'd move and uh, who you'd switch up, who you think is a better character. Uh, I'd love to know, actually, because I'm curious. I know um, people have opinions on Hunter x Hunter, so I just want to see where those people stand. Anyways, like, comment, favorite, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye!